Hey, fan, just released is some news that's going to make your heart beat faster. I'm about to fill you in on all the details, so if you're subscribed, don't waste any time and check it out right away. I'm always bringing you the latest updates from our beloved New York Jets. Always firsthand here on Jets news for you passionate fan. Are the New York Jets soaring in SI's post-draft power rankings? Jets fan, hold on to your hats. The New York Jets are aiming for the top spot in the AFC. With future Hall of Famer quarterback Aaron Rodgers returning to form, the Jets are once again the talk of the offseason. And it all makes sense when we look at it from above. After all, General Manager Joe Douglas seems to have stabilized the makeshift defensive line by adding veteran tackles Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. Then, he used the 11th overall pick to select left tackle Olu Fashionu from Penn State. Looking to boost an offense that ranked second to last in the NFL standings last year, Douglas also added explosive receiver Mike Williams before recruiting Western Kentucky's YAC King, Malachi Corley. With all key pieces returning to a defense that had consecutive top four rankings, it's easy to understand why New York landed at 10th place in Sports Illustrated's post-draft power rankings. This is an Aaron Rodgers-led team, and I know many of you see the Jets as perpetually superfluous. But I believe that if everyone stays healthy, this team will be seriously good. O.T.O. Lu Fashionu didn't change my opinion much. I hope he can be developed and gradually integrated into a starting role, or Morgan Moses can play guard until someone is pressed into playing a position out of necessity. I liked seeing the Jets invest in physical running backs and receivers who can help alleviate pressure on Rodgers. When offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett and Rodgers were at their best together, Rodgers had a group of reliable running backs and receivers who broke tackles on quick receptions. Connor Orr, the reigning Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously took the top spot. The Jets were the second highest ranked AFC East team, behind the Buffalo Bills, who came in seventh and won four consecutive division titles. The Baltimore Ravens, four, Cincinnati Bengals, five, and Los Angeles Chargers, nine, are the other AFC teams ranked above New York. The Jets will host their annual rookie minicamp this weekend, beginning on May 3rd in Florham Park. There will be a number of undrafted free agents having their first taste of the NFL, along with others participating on a tryout basis. Stay tuned, fan. Let's go for it. Go Jets!